welcome to another episode of Asia Unscripted. Today is the 9th of April, 2023, and I am here at Da Nang International Airport. This is Terminal 2, which is um, the international terminal. So for, for a small city, um, this is actually one of the nicer terminals. Uh, even nicer than the one in Ho Chi Minh City. Um, except when you buy food here, and I'll show you. I'll show you why in a little bit. Um, so you got your usual, you know, souvenir shops and uh, restaurants, so on and so forth. Uh, nothing too crazy. I am. Uh, headed to Kuala Lumpur for a few days. Um, so I uh, decided to uh, uh, go somewhere else for a little bit. So I'll be back, I'll be back here in a couple of days. Um, I don't know if you can see, but coming up is a Burger King. And this is one of two Burger Kings in the whole city. Um, if you go into the city, there aren't any Burger Kings. You can only find them in Da Nang at the airport. And uh, it's definitely not a great value. Um, it's very, very expensive. Uh, you know, if you want a Whopper meal, with fries and a drink, it's seventeen dollars. <laughs> I can't get up too close because they'll shoo me away. Um, but if you want your Burger King fix and you don't mind paying close to twenty bucks for a Whopper meal, then I, I guess that's that's the place for you. Um, yeah, you know, in Vietnam they're really not into uh, American fast food as much as they are in the Philippines. Like they have McDonald's, but not here in Da Nang, but in Hanoi and and uh, Ho Chi Minh City and Trang. But, you know, they're not, they're not uh, making a lot of money. Starbucks is suffering. Um, we used to have Subway sandwich shops in Vietnam. They're gone. I mean, why do you need Subway when you... Uh, we need to have banh mi's everywhere for 20,000 dong. Um, yeah, I like the McDonald's. I never really see them crowded. And, uh, I don't know, they're not serving. The food, the, the burgers just don't taste the same. Uh, you know, there is Burger King in uh, uh, Ho Chi Minh City, but they don't sell onion rings in Vietnam. So there are some of the, the places you can go from this airport. Just basically regional within Asia. If you, you know, want a flight to the US or to Europe, then you have to fly out of uh, Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, that's the biggest airport in Vietnam. So, um, oh yeah, back to food. Yeah, Starbucks is suffering. There used to be Carl's Jr. in, in Vietnam when I first came here. Um, they're all gone. They, they, they all took off. Uh, there's Popeyes here, but uh, I, I don't know. There, there's only one location here in Da Nang, so I'm guessing it's not that popular. Um, you know, there's Pizza Hut, there's Domino's. So you can find your Western food, not necessarily in Da Nang, though. <laughs> so, but yeah, this airport, uh, very convenient. Now, the domestic side, just like any other domestic airport in Vietnam, or the Philippines for that matter, it's a madhouse. Um, the terminal... The domestic terminal is not big enough for all the flights that, that are happening. 
measures by a basic three by two and four normal is very strong for the profile. We have a platform of all of our own. And from the So basically, it's the same, uh, same uh, stores on this side than there was on the other side. Nothing special. If you're going to buy your souvenirs, buy them. Um, buy them before you get to the to uh, the airport. Um, there's not going to be a lot of selection. Uh, if you want to see the Burger King prices. the Burger King. So they do have Burger King here, but you know, twenty-one dollars for a, a King box. So, um, yeah, it, it, it has to be the most expensive Burger King in the world. Vietnam has some of the cheapest food in the world. If you. Uh, eat local food <laughs> but if you uh, if you want Burger King uh, you're gonna be paying for it so you know if you have a family of four you know don't be surprised if you're paying 80 bucks <laughs> for going to Burger King here even in the States it's much cheaper um, this is a Chinese restaurant chain it's pretty good but again, pretty expensive. Uh, like if I want a plate of fried rice, it's like 13 bucks. So anyways, so that's the end of, uh, that's the end of the international terminal. Just kind of wanted to show you guys um, one of the nicer terminals in Asia. Uh, Cebu's got a nice international terminal. Um, and well, yeah. Manila, not so much. <laughs> they built a new terminal years ago, like 15 years ago, but it looks like crap. Um, yeah, Manila's got to get their act together on, on that stuff. All right, so I will be doing some videos from Kuala Lumpur. So you guys take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll be putting out some more videos in, in the upcoming days. So take care out there, uh, be safe. Oh, by the way, there's no mask requirement for the airport or AirAsia, which is the airline I'm flying. So it should be nice. All right, take care you guys for Asia Unscripted. This is Jason, I'm out of here.